this right here is where it's at if you're going to take anything i'm saying from this video use this product use this product this hey guys what's up welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're visiting my channel for the very first time hi my name is emma kamau i'm a youtuber based in zambia and i'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for all my returning subscribers and viewers thank you so so much for watching yet another one of my videos i love and i appreciate you so so much guys i'm so excited i'm about to sound like almost every other youtuber out there but i'm literally going to say this because it's the truth i have never been asked so much to create such a video ever like this is literally cliche as it might sound my most highly highly requested video and i am just like it's so weird to me to be at the other end of this video because i'm always the one on the receiving end wanting to know the answers to these questions so it just feels very awkward for me disclaimers that i have to make i have tried to record this video multiple times before there's just a lot of things that i ended up not liking maybe i forgot to say something or maybe i felt like my skin is not there yet and i still don't feel like my skin is there yet. like if you can see i kind of have like a breakout here and i still have a lot of acne scars that i am working towards fixing but i just feel like I am just trying to chase perfection and I'm never going to think that my skin is perfect. I've come a long way from where we were. So I feel like it's enough for me to be able to share um, this content with you. I've never done a video like this bare face, so I'm a bit awkward. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's one disclaimer. Also, another disclaimer, I'm currently at my parents' house. My parents live at a farm. Like when I say farm, I mean they live at a farm. <laughs> And so you're going to hear a lot of cocks, a lot of chickens outside there making a lot of noise or whatever. Just like ignore it because it's so that we get that or we don't get this video at all. And I'm tired of like, like I already said, I've recorded this video so many times at this point. Like so many times <laughs> I feel like it's about time that we just like made this video. I didn't plan on filming it now, but like lately I've been comfortable with posting my bare face a bit more. And a lot of people have been asking, so I felt like it's about time i've procrastinated enough let's just get to the video another thing uh the solar panels whatever is going on is deciding not to work it's going on and off so i can't really use my ring light and so i'm using natural light but you know that's fine as long as you can see me you can hear me that is fine final disclaimer is i am not a certified dermatologist please take everything i'm saying with a grain of salt i'm just sharing my experience and the products that have worked for me and just keep in mind that just because it worked for me doesn't mean it necessarily has to work for you i am just sharing my experience and the products that i have or had used so with that being said let's just get through this video so like most other people my breakout started when i hit puberty now fortunately i did have older sisters who told me don't pick your pimples they're going to leave scars just let them go away but unfortunately i did not listen to them i for me i would rather i thought at the time that i would rather have the scar than have that pimple because i didn't get those small little ones mm -hmm. I had those big ones, the ones that would have like the pus peeking out and then you just look at them and you just want to pop them. You, like you just want to pop them. Those are the types that I had and I completely hated that. So every single time I got a pimple, I would pop it. And as a result of doing that, I had a lot of acne scars. Um, the older I got, the more YouTube videos I watched, I started using certain products or even creating certain products with my own natural remedies that kind of healed my skin to a certain extent. Obviously, I was still very insecure. I was still very unhappy, but it was a lot better than when I initially started breaking out. However, for me, shit hit the fan when I started a business. So that was like around 2019 to 2020, that phase. That was when my skin just completely went downhill. Um, I was extremely stressed and overwhelmed at the time I was, you know, running my own business, opening my own shops. Um, I was still in school. I was still trying to pursue my degree. So it was really difficult for me. And as a result of all of that and feeling like I have so much pressure on my shoulders, I just broke out horribly. <laughs> like I just broke out horribly. And yeah, at, I, at that point, I just felt like I've given up. I just started covering my scars with makeup. I would still pop pimples every single time I got them and I would cover the scars with makeup. Um, it was just horrible. I was very insecure. I never went anywhere without makeup. I never showed myself anywhere without makeup. And I just want to say like, if you're somebody who has gone through 
this process and has skin insecurities like i get it people who don't have never been in that position tend not to understand but trust me i understand it doesn't determine who you are but believe me i understand and that's why i feel very compelled to share my experience with you guys today so after my skin started breaking out horribly i did consider going to the dermatologist but i considered it a luxury if i'm being honest i just thought it was a waste of money i can just watch videos buy the products and my skin would be fixed um that is very much not the case you really do need to invest in yourself and invest in a dermatologist it is extremely extremely important however at the time my friend muchimba if you haven't seen her video you should go check it out on her channel she decided to go to the dermatologist to help fix the issues that she had at the time and when she went to the dermatologist they had prescribed to her isotretinoin and they also subscribe uh, prescribed to her two creams to use for her face so isotretinoin has a lot of side effects and my condition my skin was not as bad as hers was and she said like it's a very invasive drug and i went ahead and i did my own research on it and I, I determined that she was right and i didn't feel like my skin was that bad to a point where i needed to put my body through that kind of medicine um so what i did end up doing though is i got the two creams that were subscribed prescribed to her why did i keep on saying subscribed <laughs> prescribed to her when i got those two creams my skin obviously went through its purging stage um and then it cleared up and for a while i was consistently okay like my my scars were fading i was looking a whole lot better but then my skin just randomly just broke out and at that point unfortunately i did not take any pictures or videos because i just felt so defeated i just felt like what is ever going to work for me i felt very demoralized i was so sad to a point where i was just like you know what i think i do need to go visit the dermatologist um in the same week i went ahead and i scheduled that appointment and then i went in for my appointment i will say at the back of my mind i was walking in knowing that i wanted to be on isotretinoin and before i before you click out and be like oh she used medicine just wait because i personally feel and this isn't the truth because i don't know what the truth is but i personally feel like isotretinoin helps getting rid of pimples that could possibly come out later but it does not clear acne scars so before you rush and come out of this video i am going to show you the products that i used to actually help fade off the scars and the pimples quite frankly um that i use but i will say that i did get an isotretinoin and let me explain how that happened so i went into the dermatologist and i got another tip from my same friend Mujimba she went in with all the products that she has or had used in the past to show her dermatologist and i did exactly that for whatever reason all the products that i was using if i didn't have them i wrote them down i went into my appointment extremely organized knowing exactly what i wanted so i showed my dermatologist and said okay just show me what you're using for right now and i showed him the two creams and he said these two creams are actually very effective they come highly recommended by multiple dermatologists so if you're using these two products and after me explaining like the history of my skin he determined that i had an underlying issue that had to be fixed and he decided that i was a you know good enough candidate to get on isotretinoin i will say i was given a very low dosage because again my condition was not as bad um so i was given quite the low dosage and i was told to go like for monthly checkups that's the way it was so we didn't determine that i'm going to be on it for this long or that long no we're going to see how it worked this month go see how it worked the next month so so forth so yeah like i said i went in with my products and we went and we put me on 10 grams of isotretinoin then i will say this guys i will say this isotretinoin is is it's like it's very it's a wild drug <laughs> it's a wild drug and let me explain with isotretinoin it has so many side effects guys first of all you absolutely cannot you cannot get pregnant whilst on this drug because it causes a severe birth defects what's that all right sorry about that like i said we had to farm we have to allow so anyway as i was saying it has multiple side effects so you cannot get pregnant on the drug because it causes severe birth defects um 
it has multiple side effects that i personally experience and i'll just briefly talk about them if you really want to know the details about this medicine you can just let me know in the comments or you can watch like other videos that detail this medicine i'm just here to talk about my own personal experience another thing that i really went through was extreme like dryness in my skin and most especially my lips my lips was the most annoying part because sometimes i could not eat i couldn't even smile or speak loudly because my lips would crack there were times where my lips would wake up so dry that i would be bleeding because my lips were that dry and my skin would be that dry as well another pain that i really went through was the pain in my joints i would feel like i had carried bricks on my back my knees would just be in so much pain to a point where i just decided to only take my medicine at night that way i could take my medicine go to sleep and wake up feeling somewhat better mm, another thing that you have to go through is your purging stage where you stage where your skin again has to break out because it's releasing all the toxins that are on the inside to come out and that was not a very cute side another thing that i struggled with it really did affect my eyesight my eyes were extremely dry and i was always straining my eyes all the time because again it causes that dryness and apparently it affects the eyes like i said it has multiple other side effects that if you're considering getting onto this drug do your research be aware be in the know because it's really a lot to put your body through so yeah i was on that drug and i i went through the side effects i went through everything but i will say that it was worth it because i was tired of living the way i was tired like of the way i was living you know like it was so bad to appoint my outfit so insecure about just even going out without makeup and when you kind of put yourself out there like the way i have quote unquote out there you know people compare it to what they see on instagram and when they see in real life they just like someone literally told me when she came to the salon like my friend was like oh she was saying like oh no she met you but you're not the way you look like on instagram she mentioned my dark spots i don't know why she would even come and tell me that but you know it's fine but that's that's initially what happens and it just made me feel very insecure myself but like i said any day i would take it i'll be happy all right so now that we've gotten all of that out of the way um it's time for me to get into the products that i was actually using to help clear the scars so like i mentioned i don't feel like the accutane clears off the blemishes that you already had i feel like it stops you from getting breakouts it stops you from getting pimples to a certain extent anyways um but it doesn't necessarily clear the blemishes that you already had and that's one thing that i struggled with a lot and that's when i started to use these products another defect that i didn't mention earlier was that being on accutane makes your skin extremely sensitive to light so anything that you're using like you have to be really careful the same two creams that i was using eventually i had to be taken off one of them and the other one was discontinued because it was too harsh and the fact that my skin was already so sensitive despite me using sunscreen my skin was still burning it was like i was becoming black it was burning so i had to get off of these products and use less invasive products that i am going to show you right now that i just had to kind of go through like my own trial and error to figure out what worked for me and i eventually did and i'm going to get started so the first thing that i would do is i would wash my hands and then i would wash my face with the first soap so i have the products here the first soap that i would use is this one this is a zambian product isn't it And I don't know. This is the product that I used to use. Now, if you guys know this product, then you know, like, if you were, like, in grade 7, grade 6, and our parents would make us bath with this and going to school, this is, like, the OG, OG. It's, like, the OG, OG of soap. Literally, the one that smells like memories. That's the one I would wash my hands with first because it's an antibacterial soap. And I would wash my face um for the first layer and it was just like it had no chemicals it was less invasive it just worked well for me sometimes i really feel like we kill ourselves by trying to think that only expensive products work and that's really not the case sometimes easy does it and this soap i can swear by it easy does do it so that was the first cream that i would use and then you know how you would like double cleanse so i would start with this one and then i would use this soap right here this soap is from ria skin i don't know if i pronounce that nicely i'm going to you know tag it down here 
and this soap guys i was very skeptical just because this one time i used a natural remedy and i broke out i think i'll put a picture somewhere and i was very very skeptical about using natural like homemade products but this one i have been using this one for my face and i've been using the shower gel for my body i also use this one on my body as well but guys it has no what's that called it has no bleaching agents it literally has nothing that's harmful to your skin just all natural products that actually benefit your skin and clear out hyperpigmentation i would swear by this and this is very uh, for me because i once preached that i would never speak natural products but this really changed the game for me even on days where i ran out of this i never ran out of this i have an extra one in the bathroom just waiting for me because well at home but just waiting for me because i can never run out of this it's literally become like my holy grail and like i said no bleaching agents no funny business no nothing just natural products that are good for you so after i would wash my face both times i would step into this cleanser this is the rose smoothening toner it's the toner i would use and sometimes i wouldn't really even use it just because i've already washed my face twice <laughs> and i really don't need to do that extra stuff but i really needed the dirt to come out of my face so on most days i would take a cotton pad such as this i got this one from skin deep zedem the, the, the cotton pad as well as other body care products that i'm currently using uh skin deep zedem and i'll just pour some on a tissue pad this is just a new pack but i have another one okay pour it on a, on a tissue pad and clean up my face and then let that go and then in terms of now what i really feel really did change the game for me i don't know where i put the lid so don't judge me and i forgot to buy a new pack but it's this this right here guys this right here is where it's at if you're going to take anything i'm saying from this video use this product use this product this product changed the game so how it was was when i got discontinued from using the other two products i didn't know what else to use my dermatologist suggested something just very natural and less invasive such as you know shea butter or whatever but i was hating how overly oily it was making my skin so i was looking for something else and my friend recommended it to me she told me she was like oh no try this it's really worked for me and my dark spots and i was just like hmm. like i'm tired of listening to people so i was just like hmm, no so i decided to just go into a pharmacy and just try to see what like i could possibly use and they also recommended it to me and i was like you know what let's just give it a try guys i used it the first night nothing happened the second night i woke up and my skin sorry about that i woke up and my skin was quite literally peeling and i was so happy with that because that started to mean that the dead layer on my skin my outer skin was starting to peel off and giving room to a brand new layer of skin basically and i could not be more happy like i was so happy of course it was really awkward to walk around with like your skin peeling so i would suggest this please only ever use this at night do not use it during the day first of all it's got harsh chemicals that um do not react well with the light so you can as well burn off of using this product and your skin tends to also peel quite a lot so the best you can do is to use it at night when you wake up you kind of wash off the dead layer that it has already taken out you put on your sunscreen and you are good to go but this is something that everybody who's been asking me and who i have been able to respond to invest in this it's so affordable it's like 42 kacha very affordable you can literally like get it at any single pharmacy you'll be fine there are other special days where i would want to like put on a, oh my leg i would want to put on a mask or i would want to cleanse my face on those days i use this one this is the cosmic metallic peel off mask it's brightening gold guys it's literally like gold like it's like having 24 karat gold on your face <laughs> no but it feels really really nice and when it peels off <clears throat> when you peel it off of your skin it quite literally feels like when you peel it off your skin it literally feels like like your skin is so like it's like a baby's bottom it's so smooth and just 
ah so good i love using it so so much i also got this from skin deep sedem and then when on days where i would have like deep cleanses exfoliating and stuff i would also put this mask because naturally before i took this medicine i had what's it called combination skin so this mask really helped keep my skin really hydrated and even out another product that i got from um skin skin dip zedem but you can get these masks literally from multiple places um what else so like i said your skin becomes extremely sensitive to light and whether or not you are on this medication you should just always wear sunscreen i prefer using the nivea um sunscreen because it doesn't have a white cast but i'm currently out of it so another alternative a more affordable alternative actually is this one the sun is like 60 quarter as compared to the 300 400 <laughs> nivea one this one does have a bit of a white cast but not as much however i will say if you can just get your hands on the nivea one i would highly recommend because you won't have to struggle with that white cast that a sunscreen um constantly constantly gives so now like i said i was still getting breakouts i still have if you see this a breakout over here now instead of popping my pimples i decided to use a better alternative which is to use these acne patches now these acne patches you put them when you have a breakout like when you see you have a breakout you basically put them on i think it's better to put them on at night because they have to be on for about eight hours is it now four hours eight hours i'm not exactly sure six hours at least six hours so usually i'll just put them after i do my skin what, 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 what. i'll apply where i have like a fresh pimple that i know i would be enticed to pop and i will just put the acne patch on when i wake up tomorrow it's properly popped the pimple for me and obviously you always have to like i said your lips are always going to they're gonna be dry <laughs> your lips are going to be dry so the best thing that you can do is invest in any kind of lip gloss any type of a clean right now i just have this one but i was using i forgot what it's called if i can find a picture of it i'll insert it here that one actually was very effective for me right now i don't have to get it because i'm off the med right now but yeah for right now just use any kind of a gloss and that is pretty much it now as i move on from transitioning into using products to fix my skin i'm going to be using different products to help maintain my skin and continue to heal my skin so i will share what that skincare routine is going to look like in future because i'm still in my trial and error process of figuring out what i want to stick with permanently so i will be sharing that with you guys but i'm so happy to just have shared these products shared my experience and yeah if you guys have any more questions just leave them down in the comments i'll be able to answer them either right there in the comments or as a video but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video until the end and until my next video don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye